Hey folks, this is Dan for the Mortgage Update. Happy Labor Day. So today we're gonna to talk about what happened last week and really there wasn't a lot of economic news. Um, and I'll show you some, some of the things that uh, we're, we're tracking on a daily basis here. But you come here every day to watch, you know, what's going on with the mortgage-backed securities market. Uh, Wednesday, Friday was a pretty decent day in the market. Uh, kind of slow because a lot of a lot of traders were um, kind of out and about. But let's go, this, this because it's uh, Labor Day, the market's closed and that's why we have a zero here. But let's go down and see what happened on Friday. We hit that level and I'm still expecting, you know, to kind of, th this is going to be our resistance level. But again, you know, it, it's not normal territories that we're in, and mainly because, and I'm going to show you in a second, the tariffs that uh, that Trump keeps tweeting about, and then China retaliates, retaliates, and so forth. It, it's it's ca causing chaos. So um, let, let's get on to it. So here's what's you know, on Friday, uh, mortgage-backed securities they were up were they were up a little bit, and we see that here we hit that resistance level, and we have a long way down to go. I don't think we're going to create a new um, Fibonacci level on the top end here. Uh, I think we're going to kind of stay in this range, but that's what's going on right now. We're, we're still above the 50 day moving average, which is, you know, which is good. But I, again, it's still, I see some of this, uh, a little bit of ease or, or increase in rates. I'll put it that way. So let's go on to what actually happened this week. So we get to it. This is it. And this is news for today. So this is bad news for tomorrow. So the Dow Jones futures, that's what that is, is that's predicting uh, or, or, or future tradings as of tomorrow. So this is going to tell us what's going on tomorrow. Um, we're going to see a sharp fall in stocks tomorrow. What that probably means and what that should correlate to is a, another ease in rates. So we're going to start seeing the long-term end of the yield curve come down as well. Uh, and also kind of pull down mortgage-backed securities with that, thus probably creating a lower rates. So if you're looking for a mortgage, good time, but I'm still saying cautiously float. Watch these things because the tariff wars are playing havoc on the markets. So let's see what happened um, with the, the, the market indexes. The S&P was up a little bit on Friday. The Dow was up a little bit. And again, these are going to start crashing. Uh, as of tomorrow, because we just found this. This is the breaking news right now, Labor Day, um, that the Dow Jones futures fall sharply. That's not good news. So this is, again, this data is what happened on Friday. This is a calendar what's coming up this week. We have uh, a lot of companies coming out with earnings, uh, announcing stock splits. That's good. Earnings, I, I still predict that the earnings are going to come in line or better than expected for now. Um, and I might, what I might do tomorrow is post a video on why I'm predicting that, uh, because a lot of the economists that I follow, they say, you know, when we get the inverted yield curve, in reference back to that video I did the other day, explaining what the inverted yield curve is, when we have an, an in, inverted yield curve, we're going to see an uptick in the market from 15 to 20 percent within the next 12 to 18 months. So you're going to see stocks rising for the next year and year and a half. And then that's when everything is kind of going to go from what the economists are predicting, kind of kind of go haywire. So, but this is kind of, if you see smoke going on, we're burning some, uh, we're having a little fire going on, trying to keep the bugs away and getting rid of some of the, uh, the debris we cut around the yard. Um, so you can see the Russell 2000, gold prices, gold prices, they're going up. And that's another thing, you know, I don't expect this to go crazy because inflation's in check. But because of the, so much turmoil in the markets and in the world, a lot of people are going to gold as well. So um, here's, a, here's what's happening with the Dow over the past year. It's kind of really not done anything. If you look at it in a vertical line here, a horizontal line really has done nothing. We've got ups and downs and ups and downs. Um, if you see over the five-year term, we, we've done well. But again, for the past year, with all the stuff that's going on, we really haven't moved much. Uh, so they, basically, that's what's going on in the markets. Uh, last week on Friday, we did have some numbers that come out. Inflation's in check, so that that isn't you know really handcuffing the Fed at all um, on reducing rates. So between that and some other indicators, Trump is giving you know um, Chairman Powell, who's the head of the the Federal Reserve, he's giving him a lot of grief right now. So I think Powell's playing kind of putting a line in the sand, saying I'm not going to really do much. But 
I think there's some news that's coming out here in the next couple days that's kind of going to release those handcuffs. He's not really going to worry about, you know, Trump's tweets. He's going to do what's good for the economy. And uh, based on the inverted yield curve, they're about at 50 basis points or a half a percent. There's a half a percent rate reduction I'm expecting coming in the next 30 to 60 days. So, again, if you don't realize or that isn't going to directly correlate to the mortgage market, you're not going to see mortgage rates come down a half a percent. And again, go back to my uh, video on the federal funds rate. The, the Fed controls the federal funds rate, not mortgage rates. So again, today we went over what happened last week. Inflation was in line. All the markets were in line. What's creating havoc in the markets is basically Trump's tweets. Uh, payroll numbers and other things are coming out this week that, are, that probably won't play a huge role on what's going on in the market. This is what the headlines are going to be, I think, for the next um, several weeks or, or months. And um, again, we're hitting levels here. I think we're going to see some resistance levels, but we're probably going to see, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, slow down in the economy with stocks, and we're going to see rates even dropping a little bit more. Uh, good for the short term, long term, not good for the economy. But again, if you're looking to buy a house or refinance it, now's the time. Cautiously float, and if you have only lock when you have to, or you're getting ready to close. So God bless. Happy Labor Day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below. Uh, if you want to reach me personally, just call 844-775-LOAN. Or you can email me at dfrio, that's F-R-I-O, at parksidelending.com. Take care. See you tomorrow.